It's a mega deal. Sun Pharmaceuticals, India's largest drug maker by market value, has agreed to buy Ranbaxy in a $4 billion all-stock deal. Ranbaxy investors will get 0.8 shares in every Sun share that they hold. The deal makes Sun the largest pharma company in India, gives it control over Ranbaxy's pipeline of generic products. All right, let's get you how both the stocks perform. Priyank standing by with the stock analysis of both Sun Pharma and Ranbaxy. Take a look at this from 2012, that's Jan 2012. Stocks up almost 131% when we talk about Sun Pharma out here. Try and compare that as far as how Ranbaxy and Sun Pharma both have actually performed. From 2008, you'll see a huge divergent trend because Sun Pharma shot up massively. Around 377% is what we're talking about in terms of Sun Pharma from 2008 and how the stocks actually run up. Though Ranbaxy, remember, is up only 8.6% since 2008 is what we're seeing for that counter. So it really hasn't seen the massive gain as far as Sun Pharma is concerned. And the interesting bit which one also needs to take into account out here is that though Sun Pharma has seen a huge rally in the last uh, couple of years, which has been pretty massive, when we talk from the year-to-date point of view, Rand Baxi probably in the last couple of uh, weeks or months itself has seen a little bit of a spike up because take a look at this line, the white line, which basically indicates the year-to-date performance of Rand Baxi is just seen a little bit of an outperformance. But nonetheless, remember Rand Baxi for the last couple of years has been enjoying a decent run. And that's the way the stock performance basically pans out when we talk about Rand Baxi versus this is Sun Pharma, both on a multi-year basis as well as the recent last couple of weeks where Anbaxi has just seen that little bit of uh, excitement coming in. But uh, in terms of pure stock performance, clearly Sun Pharma is way ahead in terms of the way the stocks actually managed to outperform.